Yeah, since we're talking a lot about uh, head coaches being fired, being fired, you know, I, I can't decide if there's going to be a wave of head coaches being fired or will teams be patient and let them, you know, go through the motions and, and finish the season here. And the one that has probably the hottest seat right now is definitely an Antonio Pierce. And people are, maybe some people are saying, well, he just, he, this is his first year being the head coach, but there's, there's no patience there, especially when you got a new, new ownership group and Tom Brady and Richard Seymour, especially how, how poorly he's done as, as a, as just, you know, being a coach and, and late, late game situations, being too conservative, uh, you know, you're, you're you're supposed to be a defensive minded coach, and the defense went to shit. Sorry, went to crap. There you go. Uh, no, Forty one points to the Bengals. I I get the Bengals are good, but this team couldn't score points on the Giants. They couldn't score court, score points on the Eagles. Where he come the Raiders to make that make it all right for the Bengals and Joe Burrow. The Bengals are so annoying, but they got their day there uh, with the Raiders. But it, nothing is going well, and now you're firing coaches. That's probably the last strike you have to make it work. If the offense doesn't improve, Fernando. Who else are you going to blame, AP? It's going to be you. Uh, so you're going to be on the way out. I don't even know if, if the, the GM, Tom Telesco, wants Antonio Pierce. It kind of felt like Mark Davis forced this. We're okay. Uh, no Champ Kelly, but we'll keep Pierce and we'll bring in Tom, Tom Telesco. And what the hell? You never know. So uh, he is probably has the hottest seat right now. I want to say maybe either Doug Peterson or Matt Eberflus are probably, you know, two and three. But uh yeah, a con the Con family vouched for Doug Peterson publicly like a month ago. Maybe that changes there. But Matt Eberflus, I think he gets a chance because they haven't played a, a divisional opponent just yet. They probably want to see him prove himself against a division. You get the Packers twice, the Vikings twice, and you get the Lions twice. That might be six losses right there, Fernando. So I don't think they're going to win any of those games. So they might just say, F, let's see what you got. And then after that, we'll, they'll, they'll for sure know if this guy's a coach or not. So they might go through that because like, even if they find a way to get in with an interim head coach, they're not going to do anything. The Bears are they are pretenders to me. I picked them. I get it. But I don't care. I've seen enough about the Bears. Uh, that was a, a total egg they laid in Arizona. My Cardinals, by the way, who destroyed them. It wasn't even a competition, by the way. Uh, so Iberflus would be number two. Then Peterson. I want to say Mike McCarthy, too. But Jerry Jones is over here talking about being, uh, we're going to be buyers at the deadline. We're not going to be sellers. I'm like, what are you talking about? Your quarterback is hurt. Your your coach is breaking tablets. Your, your defense receiver. is terrible. Uh, your receivers hurt. Like buyers at the deadline. What do you do? You're delusional, Jerry Jones. So uh, I get it. He thinks like a businessman. He wants to be relevant. He wants to have a winning product or at least a competitive product that you could talk about. He doesn't care about winning. And so uh, I think Matt McCarthy gets. I think all these coaches get fired at the end of the season. But if you're gonna ask me about one that gets fired in season, it could either be Peterson or Antonio Pierce. You also have like Brian Dable. Uh, who else is out there? So, but. Yeah, a lot of options. Yeah, I think... Uh, Freaking Jorge. I, did you see that? Yeah. Uh, he has a nice picture of himself. Jorge, where's your great picture of yourself hanging out and lounging out in the world? How about that one? Uh, I agree with you with all that. All those head coaches are going to be fired. Eber Flus, like, here, uh, here's a perfect... Uh, here's a video for your... Uh, for your to just to even make your point uh dj moore we all know him right we know how important he is just got a new contract mm -hmm. and everything with the bears listen to this wonder from the outside has matt eberflus lost oh. his football team so i'll ask you has matt eberflus lost oh. his football team i want to say no um the message yesterday was that we we, we know we four and four now it's just like being zero zero but he just got to go out there and, and start stacking wins how he did. And, and that's the best thing you can do is uh, win and then let the chips fall uh, how they fall after, after we do so. Kind of a safe answer there, but uh, not really. No, but uh, not really I won't say, has Matt Everfus lost this football team? I won't say no, is what DJ Moore said. Yeah, you, you could tell. It's obviously, you can't say, oh, yeah, he's definitely has, he has support in the locker room. But it, and, He's he's been very vocal too. He didn't like the whole uh, Justin Fields, Caleb Williams uh, shift there. But you know, I, I think the way they laid an egg defensively in Ar in Arizona really tells me they're losing control, especially after the Hail Mary. 
And then the way Tyreek Stevenson took the bench, and did you hear that report from Jake Glazer that he heard he's going to get benched, and then he just walks off the practice field all pissed off? I'm like, what are you but doing, then, the guy? Courtney Cronin came out and said that and debunked uh, was the Jake true? Glazer show. Well, she said that he was getting treatment or something. So no. okay. I don't know if that was kind of like a PR thing or not. But uh, well, yeah. well, Glazer said people did not like it in the facility. So that, they could tell there's a lot of drama well, going on there. I can uh, I can tell you one person that I know I probably could guess who didn't like it. Um, I bet you Keenan Allen was like, "What the hell is this? Like, are we serious?" Because Keenan yeah. is a, a no nonsense kind of guy. They, they might look back at this stretch here, these two games, Fernando, and say like, if they miss the playoffs by a couple games, I don't think so. They're probably gonna miss it by four with that schedule. But if they lose by two, I'm like, we could they could have beaten the Cardinals. They could have beaten a hobbled uh, Jaden Daniels with broken ribs if they played defense, but. They couldn't do it. Okay. Just spoke to a source with the Bears. Can provide context on what he said. Bears coaches and executives arrived at a decision to not start Stevenson on Tuesday and relayed that to the corner before practice, which was a walkthrough. I'm told Stevenson did leave practice after the stretching period to gather himself after learning of his demotion from the starting lineup, but returned to practice after a couple of minutes inside the locker room and came out for the team's periods during the gather. walkthrough. Yeah. Gather himself, Steven- get out of here. Yeah, while Stevenson's teammates have expressed frustration over how things went down in Washington, there wasn't anything confrontational due to the cornerback leaving the walkthrough before returning. So I don't care about gathering anything. Like, uh, you should expect a, a, a benching, and a, he got lucky the players got hurt and he came into the field. But Ibrifus had to do something, man, because that was just a, one of the worst mistakes I've ever seen. Did you see what happened on Sunday with DJ Moore? uh no but i think i might have there's a play i i can't put it out here because it's fox will probably ding me for it there's a play where what's his name uh caleb williams is scrambling around dj kind of runs towards the sideline he doesn't get the ball and he just walks off and goes straight to the bench and caleb goes through the other side and i think he gets it incomplete or something but somebody goes is this real like he he just walked off during the like during the play he walks off and goes to the sideline like that's uh and then they crazy. left they left Keller Williams in the game the whole time and I he know. he got hurt at the end but yeah, I think he's okay but uh, dumb mistakes like that man but they are just they're not a good football team and and the I, I get it it's the offensive line I think it's a little bit of everything it's the offensive line bad coach it's the bad head coaching bad offensive coordinating and and I remember Eric Williams told us. Shane Waldron, be careful with him because he's not. There's a reason why he's not in Seattle anymore. And then, lastly, I think it's also Caleb Williams. I I don't know. I'm not uh, Caleb Williams. I I know he makes marvelous plays. He wasn't but very that's good. The difference between good head coaching and a whatever coach. And and I'm not trying to take a shot at Eberflus. Patrick, Mah- they were comparing Patrick Mahomes' college tape to Caleb Williams, and there was a lot of flashiness. What Andy Reid taught Caleb Will- or uh, Patrick Mahomes was how to not settle for just going for the big play underneath. Check down is okay. Don't worry. Going underneath to your tight end, it's okay. Doing stuff like that. Caleb isn't like that. Caleb's looking for the home run, and that's the problem when it comes to uh, the kind of coaching. Chicago easily, and I'm not talking about going and getting Jim Harbaugh. I'm just saying in general. Chicago could have cleaned house having the first overall pick. They could have cleaned house and gotten ready for a new era in football. Now mm-hmm. you've screwed up this kid. Yeah, he's had a terrible offensive line. He doesn't have a good offense of line and he has bad coaching. And now next year he's going to have to listen to a whole new coach that comes in and he's kind of, kind of, what if he shuts the guy out? I don't know. I, I that, just, I just yeah. think they hampered him. Yeah, and, and I just realized that for my winners and losers, I probably should have made Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury the winner of, of the week because he avoided that Raiders job, and now he's coaching Jaden Daniels, a rookie of the year. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe the Bears should have taken Jaden Daniels over Caleb Williams, but everybody goes in the right situation, and it just worked out but for Cliff and Jaden. What if Cliff gets back into a head coaching head coach? job yeah, that's because problem, of man. Caleb? I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, maybe he goes. He he, he uh, coaches Caleb Williams as the Chicago Bears next year. Yeah, like <laughs> that's what interesting. He, yeah, what if because of how well he's doing right now with Jaden Daniels, they're like, oh, oh yeah, you know what? he's gonna get he's gonna get interviews for sure. 
And that's going to be a little bit dangerous because he was a good. Uh, He's a better uh, coordinator. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. All right. Going to mine. Raiders and Saints. Blow it up. Please. You need to. That's it. Like, and I get it. And I, and, and I get why. Like I would have, I would have fired Antonio Pierce last night. Why are you just going to fire the offensive core? I would have fired Antonio Pierce. And then I would start looking and uh, uh, my bad. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I think the Raiders need to like if the if the Lions come calling, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you let go of uh, Max Crosby and start over? Why wouldn't you let go of Jack Jones? Some of these other guys that are there, Jacoby Myers. I bet you the Texans could use Jacoby Myers right now. I know he has a big contract, but I would do that. Uh, the Saints, Saints, you could, you, you, like I said a little while ago, Eric McCoy to the Chargers would be a good addition as a center. I would definitely go that way. Um, the Saints have over 60 million in cap. Tyron Matthew, do him a favor, go send him to a contender. Um, uh, Cam Jordan, tell him, hey, you've done a great job for us. Go somewhere and try and win a ring. You deserve one. Uh, guys like those, like, go get those guys. Mario those Davis. Guys. Marshall Mario Baltimore. Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. All those guys. Hell, even Alvin Kamara. I'd be like, hey, yeah. do you want to leave? Or do you, you got a new contract, but I still would trade him. But you just, like, you can free up cap. You can, uh, you can free up cap. You can get yourself in a new, like, next year you could be different. You're going to get a new head coach. By the way, I think I saw a Saints report, a beat reporter say that Aaron Glenn is the name that they're hearing. Yeah, he's got uh, ties for the New Orleans Orleans. Saints. So, by the way, remember, and I mean, a friend of the show and everything, but I remember they were saying, uh, they were saying either Anthony Lynn or Aaron Glenn is going to get fired from the Detroit Lions. And uh, he decided to stick, uh, Campbell decided, Dan Campbell decided to stick with uh with aaron glenn and and let go of uh of anthony lynn so that's interesting jorge i would go brandon sheriff just off of the contract but eric mccoy because that could be a center for the next uh five years so that's uh how i would go charlie i do believe that the chargers will uh will make a trade i acknowledge you oh wow is that a wrestling fan because i uh i'm all about that um but yeah gilbert that's just me the saints and and the raiders need to blow it up stop so, and I saw uh, a colleague of yours tweet out, is it time to rebuild or reload for the Raiders? A colleague that every reload Thursday and Monday, he's at those uh, night games. But um, but I, I they, they need to blow. Like, stop talking about a rebuild. There's no way you can rebuild. You, you Now, I'll tell you one thing. Their offensive line is, like, it's it's good. Like, they, they're built. They have a good offensive line. They're building something there. But I just feel like they need to get they need to free up uh, some cap uh, for the, all that stuff. So yeah. I'm definitely um, the pretty, pretty much any team oh, with yeah. two wins right now. Victor, should, sorry, Fernando. I saw I was reading the comment. Uh, hey, I should should definitely do a bunch of trades. They just that's it. even the Dolphins who are kind of a feisty two win team. Get rid of uh, Javon uh, Holland. Uh, the Giants are two win team. Get rid of some players. The Patriots are two win team. The Jaguars are two win team. Uh, please move on. I don't want to see you guys anymore. Yeah. No, I completely agree.